Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to make this really simple ruffled square cut top for a Build-A-Bear or any similarly sized stuffed animal. Now let's get started! So let's start with the materials you're going to need. So you're just going to need some fabric. I'm just using a plain yellow one. Some elastic, scissors, pins, and your templates. So these are just pretty simple. I'll show the measurements right here if you want to recreate this. And so our first step is always going to be to cut out the pieces. So as you can see here, my fabric's kind of jaggedy. And that's okay, it'll all get smoothed out later when we hem everything. So I'm just going to pin all of this down. And then I'm just going to cut out all the pieces. So I'm also going to cut out the smaller rectangles. And since those will be the straps, I need two. So I'm folding the fabric over and just cutting them out to make two. So we're going to start with the straps. And here I have my stuffed animal just to um, measure how big I want this, how thick I want the strap. So I found by folding it in half, it would be perfect. Also, you're going to want to fold this good side to good side since we're eventually going to turn this inside out. And I'm just going to sew right along the bottom. So now that that's done, we can turn these inside out. And the reason I'm doing it this way and not just hemming each side is because I didn't want the thread to show since I didn't have matching thread for this fabric. So I'm just going to turn this inside out with the help of the back of a paintbrush. And you can also use a pencil for this. It just makes it a lot easier since these are so small. I'm going to continue to do that to both straps and it can take a while. Just keep at it. And now that that's done, we can move on to the top. So here's my rectangle. It still looks kind of messy, but that's okay. We're going to clean it up. I'm going to start by hemming the top. And I'm just going to fold it over once since you won't see this jagged edge because I'm going to put an elastic on top. So I'm just going to go pin that down and do a straight stitch right across the top. And here we are at our next step, which is to place an elastic on top and with a zigzag stitch, just a lightly pull on this elastic as you're sewing down. And since the elastic is shorter than the fabric, you're going to want to just pull it until it matches up with the end of the fabric. So after you're done with that, you're going to get this really pretty ruffled effect. So here it is. Now we're just going to hem the top. And I'm going to fold this over twice because you are going to see this part. And... I'm just going to pin that all the way down and do a straight stitch right along there. But before I do that, I actually want to add the straps first. So just so I know exactly where they're going to go, I'm going to put this on my stuffed animal first. And I really should have this on inside out, but I just had to redo this off camera. And I'm just going to pin it right where it's going to close. And now I'll know exactly where the straps will go because it's kind of hard to just guess. So this way I can make sure they'll fit perfectly the first time. So now I'm just going to line it up right where her shoulders are. So I'm just going to pin this to the front and the back. And I'm also going to do this to the other strap. So I can take this off and sew it now. And I've done both. And I'll just do a straight stitch. Okay, you're almost done. The last step is just to close up the back. So I'm going to come back and put it on my stuffed animal. This time I remember to put it on inside out. And I'm just going to match this up in the back. Pull it as tight as you want it. I made it pretty tight since the elastic is going to be able to stretch and fit over her head. So I'm just pulling this and I'm going to pin the two back parts together. And now I can just take it off and sew it. So that is done, and now I'm just going to trim off any extra fabric. So I had some there in the back, and just some for the straps. Some of them were pretty long. But after this, you are done. So now I can try this on Coco. And you can pair this with any bottoms you like. You could do a skirt, pants. I actually have a video on how I made the pants that I'm going to pair this with. 
that's what you'll see in the end and what you saw in the beginning. And there you go, it is finished. Everything looks great. I hope you enjoy this video. See you next time, bye.